Wait, we're live? Uh, oh shit. <laughs> I forgot my underwear. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> You got my virgin ears up. <laughs> it, it's okay. It's okay. I forgot my own underwear and pants. That's why I'm wearing this robe. Oh, I put on the pants. I just forgot the underwear. So it feels <laughs> <good>. <laughs> that means our viewers at home can figure out what this noise is. Oh my goodness. That's a lot. <laughs> wait, wait. I got it. That's 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 one of them vibrating beds in those hotels with the. <laughs> You got it! Yes! <laughs> Jones, stuck in my past, about to relapse. I keep running back to you. Und 50 cents. Welcome 50 back. cents for two minutes. Everyone, to What Crimes Are Gears, the podcast where we're finally all back together again in such a strong, united fortune of a nice platoon, where joining us once again is the co-founder of the entire thing and mainstay person that helped inspire this whole podcast of Aaron Hobbs. Hello, I have not died. Yay. <laughs> Yet. And also joining us once again is the vampiric sailor scout who is also baby mama of Saiyan married to Android who also commands army and has two minions called Bon Bon and Viola. Everyone give it up for Sally. Hi. <laughs> and last but not least upon this funny voice I use for Jewel to make the introduction more clever and creatively childish. Once again for everyone, your overlords every Friday, while one is cosplaying as Eminem Slim Shady from 8 Mile. Br give it up for Shrimps and Phoenix! Hello! Wait, 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 V, wait, wait. Yes, yes, wait, yes. What? We just did an intro. Yes, yes we did. Yeah? I think that's the first intro we've ever done. <laughs> no, we've been doing intros, haven't we? Ish. If you say Ish. so. Okay, this is probably the most well thought out one, maybe. Yes, maybe. this is definitely the most put together <laughs> intro. You guys like that? I've been trying to practice that in the mirror for about three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys. I don't know anything about you and your girlfriend, Mog, seriously. Oh God. <laughs> anyway, Speaking though, girl guys, friends. Um, we've been doing this podcast for like forty plus installments for you guys, and we enjoy it. But today we're doing a lazy day where we're capping out. We're totally capping out. We're, we're having a cop up where we're just having flashbacks to our earlier podcasts. It's my first day back in a, in a while, so you know they got to take it easy on me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the prima donna, you know, it's... <laughs> Gotta get them back into the swing of things slowly. Just loudly. <laughs> like dipping them babies By the in way, ice cold water. <laughs> I have to apologize to you guys for not being there in the past few weeks. I am sorry. Um, it's been weird. <laughs> oh, we understand. Life happens. Mm -hmm. Believe the amount of hate mail we got. Oh my goodness. Where the hell is he? <laughs> Nobody said that. <laughs> <laughs> No, but but, but anyway, it just not to us. <laughs> yeah, just not to us. Like it was mostly your kids going like, "Where's Dad? Yeah, show Dad sucks." <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, though, guys, like like we said, we've been doing this for like forty plus installments for you all. So we got a lot of stuff that we got a flashback on, like. Just reaching from the barrel of Dragon Ball Super podcasts and the oh history gosh, of Dragon gosh. Ball Z. Yes. Oh, speaking of, I found a new anime. On, it, it just showed up on Netflix. I don't know if it's actually new or not. It's called uh, The Disastrous Life of Psyche K. Is that new? Hmm. I don't know if it's new or not. It just popped up on Netflix. Because it kind of looks like a prima donna fuckboy that really wants to have a boyfriend, but is too afraid to. It's a really good show. 
<laughs> it's really freaking. It's really oh, good. Oh, the fuck boys. Sounds so, like a great premise. So basically, the, the fuck boy with the pink hair and the green glasses Yay! and the antenna sticking out of his head. Oh. Jenny, you didn't even wave. <laughs> Psychic sign in. Yeah. The manga is actually pretty good. Yes. Up until about chapter 140, and then it gets monotonous as all fuck. And, and even even in the anime, in the anime, it like breaks the fourth. Well, the whole show is about breaking the fourth wall because he's talking to you the entire time. Oh yeah. But but in like the second episode, uh, he points out that you should read the manga if you want to find out more. <laughs> That's great. Which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> but so basically, this kid, he's a high school student with every freaking superpower imaginable, and all he wants in life is to be left alone. So he tries not to cause a whole bunch of fucking. Uh, raucous and, and mischief and things. It's really funny. There's there's like an entire episode dedicated to a cat, and this cat this cat falls in love with a female cat, and the female cat's name is Pussy. And so every time every time the male cat talks, he's like, "I just want to meet Pussy, or I just want to get more Pussy. <laughs> I want to spend more time with Pussy." And it's it's really you know it's stupid. That's brilliant. You make humor, but it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it kind of, oh. from the sound of it, reminds me of Footy Gully. It is a oh. little Footy side, but not that. Footy Gully is, is way so. It's Footy Gully is is so much further out there. It's amazing. <laughs> I love I, I love <laughs> for, for, but it's the shortest <laughs> anime I think I've ever watched, but it's amazing, right? Same. But the the main character in that is so much more charismatic than this one. Oh, yeah. So if you took if you took her with the superpowers and whatnot and then took away all the charisma, <laughs> that would be kind of <laughs> the big the thing is he wants to be left alone. Right. And the other big thing is he doesn't really want to use his powers because in order to activate them, all of them have some stupid trigger. Like Claire yeah. Yep. He has to cross his eyes for thirty seconds in order to see the future. Yep. Or, or Stupid like, shit. if he takes his glasses off, whoever he's looking at at that moment turns to stone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> but so he. But but they not... return back to normal after twenty four hours or some shit like that. Oh yeah. Man, that kind of ass pull thing kind of reminds me of the Zeno's rule throughout the entire tournament of power. As I just yeah. segue back into the shit. That's how we do things. <laughs> Woo! Oh, took the long way around there. I, I know my personal favorite one we ever did. I forgot what the topic even was, but we just vogued for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Everybody yes. vogue! Oh, yeah. <laughs> the vogue <laughs> episode. <laughs> And you know what the funny thing is? Is the Vogue episode went on for like three episodes because you guys three stop voguing. <laughs> and no one will ever know. Because <laughs> they can't see it. I'm trying to think of what that was because we've done so many. I can well, only really remember the more recent ones. I think it was a music episode because we were talking. Yeah, we no. were talking a little bit about music. I remember I put in like a graphic about like, um,. Madonna and the Cone Tits. Yeah, we, oh, and that, yeah, yeah, yeah. we and had that, so yeah. many fun and jokes. And that immediately went into Vogue. And then... <laughs> and it oh, went to I Twitter. We, and it went to Twitter and we were all doing like voguing <laughs> gifs to each other on Twitter. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. I, I gotta get the advertising label. Where's my camera? <laughs> here. Here. Personally, my favorite episodes are the ones where I actually learned something. Like when we did, it was, this is more recent, but since I've been gone for a few weeks, the HP Lovecraft one. Oh, yeah. Where you yeah. guys are basically informing me all about HP Lovecraft. We should do a Stephen King one. Yeah. I was we thinking about. Will, we will. You guys can inform me because I know very little. Stephen King, okay, so if you grew up in the 90s, Stephen King ruled the airwaves. I mean, not only that, but in the books, too. He he was, like, the number one. And he didn't just make, like, horror stories. There are movies that you probably didn't even know were Stephen King movies, like The Green Mile. Oh, yeah. It's yep. a Stephen King novel. And that's not even a horror movie, you know? Or and then to come, for that matter. And then to come, and I want to save the meat and potatoes of it for if we do a podcast on it, but Absolutely, you can't, yeah. like... Me, I didn't know this. I didn't know that the Dark Tower 
was all tying all of those universes together. Fight yeah. start. Oh yeah. Carry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Them. Or, or um. It's like Marvel. Marvel. Yes, every <laughs> single one of Stephen King's books are connected through the Dark Tower. And he's the first person to do that. He did it before Marvel. Actually, yeah. technically, it was Paramount Pictures that did the shared universe first with the with the cinematic monsters of Legend to then make the formula oh. for cinematic universe type stuff, which led into Marvel taking the formula, but then Paramount wanted to do stuff again. Well, Universal slash pa Paramount wanted to do the same I was thing say with universe, Dark Universe, yeah. which then became a colossal failure because trying to copy something that actually copied his forefathers. It's a weird thing I'll get into if we do like a whole retrospective on films. You know, Universal's trying to do that again right now, right? Yeah, with They've Bride of Frankenstein and or... Um, well, Dracula... The new Dracula, it's not new anymore, but the Dracula that was made a few years ago, which me and Jenny actually really enjoyed because Dracula it gave him told. It gave that him was an actual. So good. It was. It, and, I and it. I think it was underrated because it actually yes. gave Dracula a backstory and mm -hmm. some meaning as to why yeah. he's the way he is. Exactly. And they actually did a really sexy Dracula. So. Right. Yeah. But the, uh, that bombed in cinemas. Finally. So. Yeah, it they, bombed because they didn't portray it very well in media. Yeah, that, everything's about media now. You take that from Deadpool. You got to do the freaking mob, mob thing. It just pops up, <laughs> and it's the dirty signs. Deadpool Two's coming out soon. I'm so excited. Oh, I saw a trailer for it, an actual trailer for it, not a fan trailer for it. But speaking of the dead, X Force is coming. But speaking of the Deadpool era. there was also us talking about the Disney acquisition. Yes. Of so many a things fox. with Fox. Yes. Which means oh. now there's so much bigger fodder for oh, Deadpool. Oh god, you don't even know. I just saw a thing on the internet. The other, well, Actually, there's quite a few. Uh, Sebastian Stan talking to um, Hugh Jackman. Um, didn't want to give anything away. at the. It was at what was it, the VCC? Can't remember what the hell it was called. Anyways, Sebastian Stan who plays uh... uh Oh my god, I just brain farted. Winter Soldier? <sighs> yes, the Winter Soldier. God. Or the I, I second him, Captain America in the comics. I remember him because his first big movie role for me was playing the playing one of the gay wizards from The Covenant. <laughs> but not oh only god. that, so like oh yeah, immediately immediately after that there was a video just just came out last week um, that Avengers is going is undergoing some reshoots. And Hugh Jackman was caught on set, which <laughs> how fucking fun! Right? <laughs> he did and say he, had... he would come back if he was set in the Avengers slash he Marvel Cinematic Universe. He did say that, and I don't want to set anything on fire because it ain't it ain't. A, it, there's no trailers showing him in it. There's no nobody has come out and said. But Marvel's pretty good about keeping things under wraps. Anyways, back to. <laughs> Back to our lazy I, day. I think one of my favorites is when I showed up late to one of the podcasts and we were doing our favorite horror villains. Oh, mm. yeah. And we were talking about Freddy Krueger and Jason. And, and oh, yeah. The slashers. The slashers, John. William Shatner mask in Halloween. <laughs> I wonder how many people know that nowadays. <laughs> Hold on there. And you're making everyone seem kind of old, but knowing that small <laughs> reference right there. <laughs> I've actually yeah. taken it upon myself to watch some of the older Star Trek stuff, and oh my god, I thought they were just picking on him. No. He legit fucking does that, and he's <laughs> so yeah, funny. Yes, he does. I don't remember what episode it was, but it was the one where there's like these space gerbils or something got on the ship. You... I lost it. I was my like, god, you, you know it. there are gerbils. You're, you're talking about the, trouble, the trouble with tribbles? Is that the episode you're talking about? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My God, they're so dirty, into the but I know draw that. <laughs> Anyways, so you know why he acted that way, right? Why? Apparently somebody, I forget who it was, somebody told him to just go in because he was afraid of not getting the job. Oh. Somebody told him to go in and just overact the shit out of it. <laughs> and so he did. Every scene that he's in in that show, he's literally forcing himself to overact on the show. He, like, he's okay, doing it well, as a parody of himself. Yeah. 
he's been in other movies and he's nothing like that when he's no, acting. Yeah. No, he yeah. did it on purpose. Somebody told him to do it and he did it on purpose. And that's what they wanted out of him and that's what they got and it turned into what we have today. God, it's so even, fun, even in the Star Trek movies, he doesn't act like that. You know, it's just the TV series. <laughs> <laughs> but it's worth We've got to get them off the ship. So They're it. so... Um, it's Claire, no! <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know why. I don't know why this rem this remind me of, of this like the weirdest thing. But I, I kind of want to remember the one where Casey was was on for an episode. We were having like another flashback thing. So I'm our favorite about, animes. Yeah, the oh, flashback yeah. inside favorite of animes. flashback. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. What got us into though. anime and, and what that creates what paradoxes. Paradox. <laughs> Oh, Scott Beckett's gonna show up in a second. We have a paradox solution. <laughs> Wait, did I just mix his name? It's Scott Bakula plays Doctor Beckett. I don't. Did they ever say his first name? <laughs> I don't know. Did they? I wonder if they ever said his first name in Quantum Leap. No idea. But all I know huh. know is from now that I've remembered Casey, I'm like, how many other family members could we actually get on the show at some point? When are we gonna do another live stream? That's when we hit 50. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of uh, Quantum Leap, I actually was just watching this show called uh, Detective Murdoch or something like that. Oh, that's my favorite uh, show! I said, you know what would have been the most amazing ending to the whole show? If at the end he suddenly looks at his partner who shifts from that headed character into the guy uh, from Quantum Leap who had the device and oh. he jumps. And that's why he had all that knowledge and was Yeah, so Murdoch creative. Mysteries would be so amazing if William Meldock went into the future. So did you, did you know, the, if you've seen the finale of Quantum Leap, which I have not, but I, I know about it, because I, how, how can it you not? so open-ended since exactly. the show got they, canned. They did it for a reason. And recently, as of last year, there have been talks about doing, like, not, not a uh, reboot or starting the show again, but like a, a reunion to kind of close all the loopholes. Because if you know in the finale, the guy, I can't remember his name in the show, but he has Iggy, the, the guy with the computer that's always happened. Ha Sam, Sam Beckett, that's his name. Sam, Sam Beckett. Damn it, they did say his first. How stupid am I? Anyways, um, in the original ending, the guy that has Iggy, he gets transported back and he's with his wife. Finally, again, right? They're reunited. And he goes back to leaping to find Sam Beckett. Now, that wasn't in the finale, but that was supposed to be in the finale, I think. Is that what it was? Has anybody actually seen the finale? Maybe you could tell me. It's been a while <laughs> since I've seen the finale. Nobody's seen it. Nobody's uh, I haven't seen any of it. It's I've so seen relevant now. Stuff, but not the finale. It used to be one of my favorite shows. <laughs> it's a good show. I, I always like the shows nowadays. I, I liked it because they would leap into so many like unconventional people. Like he played Lee Harvey Oswald in one episode, and the 24 hours leading up to the JFK assassination, and he he le he leapt into oh god, I wish I could remember all of them. Wasn't he? Didn't he end up jumping into? Um... Oh, what was her name? The one who helped with the Underground Railroad. The black woman. Harriet, Harriet Tubman. Tubman. That's the one. Didn't he jump into Harriet Tubman for an episode? I, I can't remember. But they did a lot of episodes that were, I, I don't know, I would call them controversial. But, like, they kind of broke that boundary. Like, oh, my God, he's playing the guy that killed JFK. Or he's he's playing this this person that did these terrible things. And took a perspective from that angle where he's he's a good person in a bad person's body. And he has to preserve the timeline, you know. So what is what does he do? Thanks. Right. And it's, I always thought that was just like the coolest premise for a sci-fi, you know. <laughs> Personally, I just blame the Flash for all the, all the things that happen wrong with history. It's That's fair what's wrong. The, the Titanic what's going crashing. On? Barry Allen. We're in the oh, situation we're in right now because of Barry Allen. Damn it. Yeah. And he's not Lee even in there. Oswald killing Kennedy. Barry. Why Barry Jeff Allen fucked up Discord too. Why so did <laughs> on the door? Is that what you're about to say? Yeah, that's why Jack couldn't get on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Jack couldn't get on the door. Barry Allen. <laughs> Barry. 
You think there's a, a kid named Barry Allen out there? Is like, stop blaming me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty sure if this if this ever gets big enough traction, they'll just be watching all the old episodes. Like, why do they keep blaming me in this episode? <laughs> I'm only seven. <laughs> we blame you. Uh. I know what my favorite one is, but again, it's very recent. It was the one about the art. I really yes. enjoyed it. That is definitely one of too. my favorites. That was so good. I love that one too. I especially have a new uh, affinity for it after this weekend. Story time. Story time. Oh. Um, my wife and her best friend. They don't. They don't hang out very often. Why? Uh, it's just family and life. You know, oh. they've got kids. We've got kids. They live in Milton and. Which is literally ten minutes away from Janesville, but still, um, <laughs> you know, life happens, and, and she's got a job, and all of this, and life gets in the way. And so they made some time for this weekend. She was going to come over, and they were going to paint. And their special request was that I was going to be their teacher. <laughs> I'm not a teacher. I'm, I don't teach, but uh, I came up with this. Okay, you got to paint your spirit animal. Now, her friend is, she don't paint. She's not very artistic. She's self-admittedly, right? And she brings the wine, the yes, wine over. Yes. Brings like three bottles of wine over and they just <laughs> go to town on the wine. That's how you paint. That's how you paint it, drunk as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Just, they were using oil paints, which I, I love oil paints because you could do so much with it. You can't really screw up. Did they but, manage to find a way to screw up? Yes, she did. Um, Jenny, Jenny's was Jenny's. This is Jenny's. Jenny's did, did great. You know, Ooh. it's me. Oh. I like it. Yay! It's an insomniac lion. <laughs> but, it is uh, me. <laughs> but her friend had some trouble, you know, <laughs> keeping it together. She drank way too much, way too early. Oh no! <laughs> and it, it was quite funny. I don't want to give. And, you know, I don't want to go into it too much because I don't want to embarrass anybody, but it was, I was a babysitter. Um, <laughs> was it kind of like that? Bunch of grapes? There, actually, there was fruit dip and vegetable dip, and there there was, we bought brie cheese. Ooh. Ooh. Which we had never had before. I still haven't tried it, but Jenny I'm says, where's it's good? very strong. I take a little bit to see if you like it. I'll put a whole blob in your mouth and kill yourself. <laughs> But yeah, it was a very fun weekend. It was actually it, the kids. The kids had it was, <laughs> oh god, we had a house full of kids and one like way too drunk person, and they were just <laughs> like, and I was sober the whole time. It wasn't like they weren't unattended. I was keeping watch and being responsible, but it was just so funny to watch their reactions because it was like, yes, this is what you looked like when you were two. <laughs> you know, like this is how you guys act. When you're babies, <laughs> this is what we deal with on a daily basis Teeny for years. <laughs> and they were just so amazed. And my son, my oldest son, just got the biggest kick out of her. She just, he wouldn't leave her alone. Like she, <laughs> she's like, go away, Christian. You just go away. And he's like, no, I'm fucking loving this. This is hilarious. <laughs> Why would I leave? This is the best show I've ever seen. <laughs> Better than Teletubbies. <laughs> our, our nephew. He's 14, so we don't and watch Teletubbies. Son, everybody. <laughs> but I'll leave it at that. I, I had I revisited the art thing, and I got back into like because I had to help her fix her painting a couple of times. So I was dabbling in the oil painting, and yes, I'm sorry that took away. Whew, back to the. <laughs> by, by me, it's it's a nice segue. Just I'm just like revisiting the talk. Because of recent events, such as whenever you and Sally were away, me, Shweebs, and Phoenix had this three-parter talking about romance. 